Hello everybody, I'm the Zip Zap Zap, and welcome to another map walkthrough. Yes, I'm aware this is horrifyingly, staggeringly late and that this map is actually a year old, but that's not important. The point is, I don't see any reason not to do this because I've done a walkthrough for the first map, which was also very late, and this one's even later, but it's still here, so I, you know, without a further ado, let's get into it. This is Act 2, Dark Skies. This is the second iteration of the zombie campaign, if you couldn't notice. And this map is very simple. It's a very simple linear pathway. And it follows through an airport. You obviously spawn here at this kind of security checkpoint, and you have to advance across. And now the backstory behind this is that you've reached the airport from the stadium, and now that you're here, the military previously was in command, but they recently just got overrun, and so you're now isolated by yourself, and you have to cross the airport to one final civilian aircraft that lies across the terminal. So, that's kind of the setting up of this episode, or iteration, rather, of the zombie campaign. But when we actually get into it, you can see the humans have a simple spawn facing forward, obviously, to indicate they will go in this direction. The zombies actually spawn right across from them, facing inwards, so the zombies will immediately be running at the humans and there will immediately be action as they come forward through here but then like i showed you earlier the zombies actually come through that hole in the ceiling right there also when they respawn they don't initially spawn there but once they die once they'll drop in through that area so the humans as they advance forward reach the door and turn around will have to contend with zombies from both sides so i tried to manipulate the spawning and such to make it feel as though there were zombies coming from multiple directions at one time even when they actually weren't so anyways, there's the door mechanism, which has just opened. I believe it's on a 50 second timer. I might be incorrect, but it's around there. It's not very long. And so obviously once the crate drops down, you can advance through onto the map. And yeah, pretty simple aesthetics in this room. A bit of issues with the dynamic lighting, but it's not horrible. And I think it's kind of worth it. Oh, you can see the crates already despawned, but... The point is, when you come out of there, you get to see this just immense view of all these windows and just this window dome, which I think looks beautiful. I think that looks really nice, and that's where the centerpiece of the map is, actually. You need these little glass partitions with the decoratives and such to just split things up, make it look interesting, because that's what you want to do. And so, because this map is using a modded canvas, dynamic lighting obviously isn't quite working perfectly. You can see there's a little glitch right up there with a couple windows, which is annoying, but it's kind of the challenge we face when working on a scale like this. Zombies will pour out from that area back behind the rubble, and then as long as we uh, continue moving here, it should be manageable up to this point at least. Weapons will spawn around the map. They're not actually here because we're in Forge, but if we were in a custom game, there would be snipers and shotguns. People would spawn with assault rifles, which are more effective in Halo 4 than they are in Reach. And so, yeah, back there was another zombie spawn point, and you can see that along this big corridor here, you don't really want to stay there. There's a lot of zombie entry points, and it's pretty simple, some basic store-like aesthetics, but it leads down into this area, which is much more suited for holding out, if you will. Again, we tried to use the pieces like the 4x4 four four flats that when dynamic lighting breaks, um, or rather, when they won't be affected by dynamic lighting if the engine starts to get strained, so we can keep dynamic light on other pieces if we just place those in areas where lighting would appear natural, like underneath a giant glass ceiling. So I tried to kind of work that in as a way of making the map still absolutely mammoth, because this map is huge. But then here we have a simple Dominion turret tour design where door, rather, I can't speak, where you activate the turret, it will knock over a fusion coil, which will drop down, then explode, and then detonate the landmine that the crate sits on, and it'll drop down from there. And then here's our ending room, obviously kind of anticlimactic, unfortunately, but it's the entry gate, the plane will be right beyond that set of uh, partitions there, and that's kind of the map itself, very simple, really linear, straightforward, not really a lot to uh, say in terms of navigation, this is kind of the entry terminal there, and the zombies can obviously use those desks there for cover. It's supposed to be where you stand in line as you get on the plane and have to hand over your ticket and such. And that's just kind of this map. It's very straightforward, not a lot to be said. I do intend upon doing a walkthrough for Act Number 3 soon, but we will have to wait and see on that. And uh, any moment now, I should get teleported off the map because I'm off in this area where I'm not supposed to be right now. Because I implemented another anti-camping teleporter on this map because I thought it would be a good idea. I was worried about people just sitting at spawn and not doing what they're supposed to. Because not doing what you're supposed to on these maps is annoying to the creator, obviously. You can get a lot of kills. But I 
want to try to discourage that wherever I can with my map making skills. Obviously, if you really are just opposed to playing the map the way it's meant to be played, then you can cause some harm for other people as well, which kind of frowned upon that. Anyways, though, you just navigate back to the spawn room, and there it is, there it is. So, yeah, that just serves to obviously dissuade people from doing what I showed you there and just avoiding the map's design. Anyways, I'm the Zip Zap Zop. I would like to thank you guys for watching, and watch out for Act 3 soon. And also, the Machinima is coming along well, so keep an eye out for that. I'm going to need some voice actors. Thank you, and goodbye.